Welcome to This is My Architecture, filmed in the beautiful city of Zurich. Today with me, Alexander Ross from Eurovision Services. Hello, Alexander. Hi, Jan. Thanks for the welcome. Alexander, please explain me what you're doing at Eurovision Services. So I'm the deputy manager of the engineering and technology. We are based in Geneva. We have offices in Madrid, Singapore and Washington. We do live worldwide distribution for major and premium content, football, and other stuff. And uh, we are famous for the Apollo landing program and mm -hmm. the early Eurovision Song Contest. Awesome. Let's look at the architecture you have prepared for today. What are you trying to solve with uh, what we see here on the board? So we have two targets. The main one is to uh, get new customers, new opportunities. And the second one is to reduce the uh, on-premise footprint. Mm -hmm. And this is about video broadcasting. Yeah, we're talking about uh, IP video flows. So we are going from a stadium, from a camera that is outputting to two different encoders. So we use encoders to reduce as less as possible the bandwidth throughout the network. So we output two streams from each encoder. Why we do this? because we want to maintain the highest SLA possible from the stadium to the two direct connects within an AWS region. Mm -hmm. Now, as your video flow arrived, AWS, what happens next? So from there, we keep the same philosophy. We apply the same design. And from those direct connects, we send the same content to the two different media connect to make sure that we keep the quality and the re reliability of the stream. Okay, so essentially the reason for doing that is redundancy that you never stop your live feed. Exactly, and we use the power of the media connect with the 2022-7 protocol to aggregate the stream in each of those instances. And on top of that, we also use the 50 metrics provided by Amazon. Mm -hmm. So the Media Connect is acting as a virtual switch for IP video flows. Yes, that's correct. We have the equivalent in the broadcast world with the okay. SDI matrix. In the, with the Media Connect, we can do multiple input, multiple output, and uh, we monitor with, the, with those metrics. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So let's look at the use cases. Let's dive deep on the first one. Yeah, the first one is based on high quality bitrate provided to the clients. So they have to be in the same region and to use as well their media connect. And based on those two criteria, we can guarantee the SLA through the AWS infrastructure. Good. And the second use case? Second use case is based on low quality distribution. So we feed from the same content different EC2 instances where we can transcode. We create mezzanine formats where we can inject into S3 bucket and then feed the CloudFront service to make a worldwide distribution to final audience like a B2B2C model. Mm -hmm. So this architecture is working for live video. Is it also capable of doing video on demand or replay services? Yeah, that's correct. We use the S3 to do VOD and replay as well for our clients. Alexander? Thank you for walking me through that architecture. It's quite impressive. Thanks for having me, Jan. Thank you for watching This Is My Architecture.